that are more into the mm. sort of narrative, fantastical mm -hmm. narrative around the ideas that uh, she shared with me and that other people within the gun club community shared with me about the reasons behind why it is that they own a gun mm -hmm. or um, why they come together, what their uh, anxieties are about the, the state of their community, the state of their personhood, the state of their country. Mm -hmm. Even if I don't necessarily agree with it, I am interested mm -hmm. in that. Um, could, could you talk to them about the central image? Oh, yes. Like the central image gets a lot of questions. <laughs> uh, is there anything specific that you want me to... Well, if you could just tie it in with the, the project. Sure. Um, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to talk about it in the time that I have. Um, I'm not sure Gosh, I have so much trouble talking about this main image. It, it like, harks back, at least to me, I made it as a way to talk about, like, power dynamics, not only within like the community, but power dynamics that I just that I personally feel as a woman um, interacting with men, especially a lot of the men that I have photographed for this project personally. Um, I know that the dragon holds a lot of symbology, like across cultures, and I wanted to create this sort of like space where I like invoked a sense of um, what would I say? Mm -hmm. the sense of uh, what was that? Submission. Yeah, submission. Yeah. Yeah, that, and I would even say vulnerability within you know males. Um, when I look at the two images of the one of the woman with the gun and uh, this man um, whose face I can't see, and I definitely see a difference in power dynamics. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, I mean, you know. Stereotypically, men own guns, women don't own guns. Um, and women are like, definitely, obviously, anyone should be able to own a gun. Like, he's able to, you know, <laughs> legally own a gun. Own, but that's um, not how it works. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. so I definitely think that you're um, exploring these different power plays and the way that you visually represent them, I, I think, like, is definitely something that I'm interested in seeing you build upon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Yeah, a lot of you guys are exploring ideas not dissimilar to Stanley in some ways. I mean, he's talking about race, he's talking about power, he's talking about gender, mm -hmm. his position in that. It's interesting to see. I know there are other grad students. Uh, do you want to talk about <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, Courtney said she would um, talk about her work. Todd uh, shaking his head. No, you can I don't know All right, so um, this particular photograph doesn't exist with any body of work. Um, that I've done, but part of my practice is I listen to other people speak, I record stories, and I make interpretive images based upon their stories. So this is my best friend, her name is Philip, he's from Oklahoma, where I'm from, and last year um, he killed his first deer, it was the first time he ever went hunting, and he felt a lot of remorse for it. Um, he talked about going up in the deer stand, pointing the rifle at the deer, seeing it through the scope, and how easy it was to take the life. Um, and he's never done that before in his entire life. He did it because his family pressured him into it. So um, when he told me that story, like, I could just sense like, the emotion from him. He was never gonna do it again. But this was something that made his family really proud. So we recreated the scene of him coming down after he killed the deer. Um, and kind of trying to, you know, make it a little bit more, we wanted to make it, I wanted to make 
a dark image. I was looking at this Susan Lipper photograph um, before I made the image, so, and it was a photograph of someone with a mask on that um, there was a barrel full of oil or something like that, and like there was smoke blowing up, and um, I kind of ripped some stuff off of that photograph to make this <laughs> image. I mean, I, it was an inspiration to me, yeah. Um, and so that's a basic story of this photograph, and that's how I make pictures. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Are you, or how are you using the recordings or the, the actual like story content, or are you not? You're just sort of abandoning it for what becomes the. Yeah, well, well for, for this particular image, that's it. Um, it doesn't exist in the body of work. For my other work, I do carry around a recorder and I often translate that text and I rewrite it to fit the narratives that I'm making. So a lot of my, my work is documentary with interpretive images mixed throughout them and it's very sort of pseudo fictionalized. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's sort of how your, your book evolved, I right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, thanks. Keep moving. 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 I know nobody was, we didn't call anybody yeah. because we heard. Uh, no, as far as like this, I guess that's, oh. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm watching the camera. Um, the new prompt. The new prompt. Where were you going to do? Yeah, where were you going to sit these times? Uh, so these are investigations into my upbringing in Southern New Jersey. Mm. Um, so as far as going back, talking to people um, that I've known for years, but um, lost connection with. Mm -hmm. um, it also has to do with a lot of the performativity of um, masculinity um, and social, like the, the undertones of that. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about the image of the girl? Is she particular, or is that? Is she close to what's it? This print. Oh, oh, the picture. I was like, what? What's the name of your work? So this is my friend Michael Ann. Uh huh. We have which one? It's a new print. Which print? Which one are you talking about? No, as as far as my friend Michael Ann. But as far as like, we had this idea to do a couple of shoots together, and a lot of things fell through. And, um, I finally caught her at like 9:30 at night. Um, just kind of BS for like. She looks maybe. so much like a famous actress whose yeah. name is escaping me, but so much like, you Christine know. Richie. Yeah, a little bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think it's the bangs. Yeah, it's the bangs for sure. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yeah, any questions for time? Yeah. What's up with this tree? <laughs> <laughs> What's up with this tree? <laughs> 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 it's not here, yeah, it's too rough. So it, it's too rough. <laughs> Another way to interpret it. Uh, it's actually at a blueberry farm um, in southern New Jersey, but it's, it would be like two farms over from a friend of mine's oh. farm. His parents own a large blueberry farm. Mm. That's, yeah. Southern New Jersey is just rural, cows. I guess. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, it's blueberry farms and cows. And oh, I thought it was all rich people. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's northern New Jersey. That's oh, right. That's yeah. North, yeah. North yeah. Jersey. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> yeah. Bergen County. Okay. Yeah, I'm from yeah. Camden County. 
This is near Yale. Is Yale down there? Connecticut. Yale's Connecticut. Yeah. What's down there, though? Camden. Camden. No, but there's <laughs> Cherry, New Jersey. Well, there's Cherry Hill. But what Cherry, is there an Ivy League school in Southern New Jersey? No. Princeton. University of Princeton. Princeton. Yes. Is this near Princeton? That's, that that would fly in more central New Jersey. That oh, okay. I thought you said that wasn't a thing. It's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a thing. Thanks, Tom. We have Mike. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. Um, a lot to talk about. Yeah, I'm not going to say a ton about this because like, I don't know if it was a magic for you guys. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's kind of weird looking at this now because it's, it's a pretty old picture and I'm like in a kind of different place now. But. Um, you know, I was really interested in uh, just looking at sort of like domestic space and how uh, it could be a place of like comfort, but also you know, a place of uh, uh, terror as well. Um, and yeah, I just work with I work a lot with like actors and models, and I tend to work with people that like I'm curious about, but I also like identify with a little bit. Um, so like, it draws me a lot to like older men, you know, kind of projecting like you know who I might be uh, someday. Um, so. I don't know, I mean, his name's also Mike, which is my <laughs> name, so it's like really weird, like, a naked dude named Mike, like, posing around, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, I just had this idea of, like, putting him in the middle of the floor of, like, of a kitchen, and, and, uh, sort of, like, I, I was just interested in, like, the juxtaposition of his, like, I mean, I think he's, like, a good-looking guy, but it's, like, pink, fleshy face, and, like, the sort of heart-shaped rug, and how... You know, he's older, but he's also curled up in the fetal position, and he's having this suspended moment, which is something I feel like I have a lot of myself, and that I think a photograph could be very um, good at capturing that. Um, something that sort of like draws you in, but sort of like pushes back in a way. Um, so that's kind of like where I was when I, when I took this, and yeah, that's, that's my story. <laughs> So. He's your lawyer. Yeah. He's your lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> he's your lawyer? No, he's not my lawyer. Yeah, he's my lawyer. You actually know this? He's the barefoot lawyer. He's the barefoot lawyer. Take a photo. He's the lawyer than exhibitionist. He is. He is. He is. Y'all wait. Yeah. <laughs> really he's, he's like, and then again, like, he's like, it's the I'm same like, guy that Rory. I met him, like, he's like somebody I met on Craigslist. Oh, so, I, I, so I posted an ad on Craigslist, and like, Craigslist is awesome because you know, you know, you never know what you're gonna. I mean, it's awesome. It's also horrible for the same reason. And you never know what you're gonna get. Um, and so this gentleman who also uh, does a lot of work for. Um, Poses, yeah. So um, he's like, yeah, like I'm interested in posing, but like, can I be naked? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so that's his thing, yeah. So yeah, so he's like, um, so he's, he's, he lives in the, um, this, like, I think call them suburbs, but pretty rural. Um, and there's these like big, big windows in the front of his property, um, in the kitchen, and so you know. Yeah, yeah, well that's part of it is the voyeuristic. So like, yeah, I mean, it just like, I don't know, I try to be... Uh, sometimes I go with like preconceived ideas of what I, how I want to pose somebody or what I want to do. And sometimes it's just like, I'm in a space and it's like, well, this is what I have. And it's kind of like, um, just kind of work with that. So, I mean, with Mike, we went outside in the backyard. Um, I closed him a little bit at the table and like, nothing was really... Um, working for me in the kind of way I wanted it to and sort of like um, just kind of like trying to think of my feet of like you know something I could do that's not just um, you know that, that sort of adds something a little a little different and um, I just sort of like try to trust my instincts with that um, and I think like I think it worked out pretty well I mean um, I, I think that I it's interesting to, to go back on, on something like with the distance because like in grad school, you know, you shoot, you edit, you print, you show for crit, and it's just like this churn of images and like having some distance is also good so you can really sort of like 
take stock of like you know what it's saying and how you feel about it. So mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know Rory Mulligan? What's that? Uh, Do you know Rory Mulligan? Um, I don't actually. Uh, Is that someone I should know? Well, he was an artist in residence, and I'm. I'm getting yeah. a sense, I'm pretty sure this is the yeah. same guy that you photographed in some town. It's in the contract. Oh, really? It's in the contract. <laughs> okay. um, we'll give you a copy of the Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah, and like, Anton also so like, photographed for a little bit. Um, yeah. But. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> So yeah, this is my a, a sample of my work. Um, I work a lot with um, construction material, dealing a lot with material. Yeah, this was and heavy, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing on the back to hang it. I had to go out and There's I had to go to Home Depot. No, I put D rings on. It. There was zip on the back. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird a ton. I apologize. There That's were D rings right. at one point. Yeah. Um, oh, 